Previously on Don't Kiss and Tell. Hi, sexy. Hey, daddy. How are you? I'm good, and yourself? I'm all right. Mm. So this is where you school, right? Yeah, I school here. Oh, that's nice. No, I've been eyeing you for a while now. Mm. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you walked my way. You came towards me. Yeah. Would you mind if I can take you out for? Ah, no, not at all. Like my number is oh eight one. No, David. I can't. Why? Because I just, I just feel like things are moving too fast, and we've only been dating a week, and it's just. And you care about me, don't you? You know I do, but it's just. No buts, Marianne. If you care about me, like I care about you, then there should be nothing wrong with this. It... There isn't, but it's just no that. No buts, Marianne. <laughs> I, I, I need to tell you something. I love you. I mean, I'm in love with you. <laughs> You're joking, right? No, I'm not. I love you. Okay, whoa, Raymond, no. I have your test results here. Uh, they are positive. It's all right, it's all right, but you are definitely pregnant. Wherever you wish me well, that liquor is killing your liver. Don't put your hands on me. Don't kiss and tell. Well, I'll rubber if you wish me well. That liquor is killing your liver. Don't put your hands on me. Don't kiss and tell. Well, I'll rubber if you wish me well. That liquor is killing your liver. Don't put your hands on me. Don't kiss and tell. Well, I'll rubber if you wish me well. That liquor is killing your liver. Don't put your hands on me. Don't kiss and tell. Well, I'll rubber if you wish me well. and help that poor old lady. What? Are you crazy? You don't just go to people's houses and put your nose in their private business. But mom, that man could kill that lady. What they choose to do with their family is their business. Do you think uh, they would have come here to help us if the same thing was happening? It's the right thing to do. I said no. You are not going there. You are a young boy. That man would hurt you. He would eat you for being disrespectful. For going to his house like that. No mom. No one is ever too young to be affected by domestic abuse. Wouldn't you look for help if it were you? It's not the same thing. It is. Why don't you care for other people? Don't you dare talk to your mother like that, boy. You're not leaving this house. You're not even going to look through these windows to see what's going on on that side. But... Don't you dare say another word back to me again. Mom, what's wrong? Why are you bleeding? What happened oh, to you? Please, you can't see me like this. What happened to you? Where's that? There's no what's wrong. Who hurt you? No, I can't say. I don't understand. I'm confused. Oh, Eddie, what happened? Please go to your room. No, not until you tell me what happened to you. Oh boy, just go to your no. room. No! Tell me what happened. It's your father. He did this to me. He hates me, Eddie. Please, please don't tell him about this. No! <laughs> no! How? When? Oh, he came home drunk again. He just lost control. <laughs> you don't deserve this. Where is he? Where? I don't know. He just drove off to somewhere. I don't know he went. <laughs> I just don't understand. Why would he do this to you? I thought he loved you. He was stressed, okay? He was stressed. He's been having a hard time at work. No, because he has a hard time at work doesn't mean he has the right to hit you. No! Oh, Eddie, I can't explain this. Listen, why don't you ask for help, Mom? Why don't you ask for help? <laughs> From who? Anyone, the church pastor, the neighbors, the police, anyone. Oh, I can't stand to see your father being sent to prison because of me. And the neighbors, the neighbors. 
They don't like to be involved in other people's affairs. So he's allowed to hit you and you just bear with it. Son, listen to me. Promise me you'll never hit a girl or a woman. Please. Oh, son. What is wrong? I'm sorry, mom. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. You have done nothing wrong. It's not that, mom. It's... What? Tell me. Talk to me. It's my girlfriend, mom. Hilma. We had an argument. What? One we've had many times before. It's about a friend or whoever. And I just... You... You... I please. just lost it, okay? Please don't tell me you... Okay, listen, it wasn't the first time. I just, I just lose control, okay? It, it just happens. Eddie, please. You are an intelligent man and smart man. Much more like your father. You don't have to hit a woman. I don't know, Mom. It's just... Eddie, listen to me. Listen to me, Eddie. You do not have to hit a woman. Treat a woman like a delicate flower. Imagine having to see a woman, having to see a woman suffering because of you. Imagine having to hit someone that you love so much, that someone you trust, you give your whole life to, and that person is beating you. But, Eddie. I just look. But Grandpa said it's okay. All the men in our family do it. He said it's the only way to get a woman in line. You don't have to be brainwashed by culture. Listen to me, Eddie. No woman deserves to be hurt. Not even me. Okay, I guess I just wasn't thinking. Oh, please, Eddie. Do not be like your father. It just happens, okay? It's not like I planned it. Please don't be like your father. I'll try my best. I'll try my best, I promise. I just wanted to say you're a beautiful girl, amazing and talented, and you deserve someone that treats you right, and I just don't deserve you. I've been seeing, I have a problem, okay, I've been seeing someone, and I guess it's just, I went through some stuff growing up, so sometimes I just lose it, okay? but. But I'm seeing someone about it. I really am. And I'm glad you helped me realize that every woman deserves to be treated the right way, to be loved properly. And I guess I'm just trying to say sorry, okay? And I'm sorry. Take care. Wait, Eddie. Look, I'm also sorry. I'm sorry that I slept with your friend, David. I know now that we can't blame everything on alcohol. And that we need to start taking responsibility for every decision we take. I have learned my lesson. And I know that every action has consequences. So, I'm glad I learned that lesson.
maybe someday when I'm better you can try this again, okay? Um, Eddie, something I need to tell you. I'm seeing someone and it's, it's Raymond. He's good to me and I'm happy with him. As long as it treats you right. Take care. Take care. Thank you. You know, I disappoint you. All right, you know. Black? Black. Black. I remember walking into the school for the very first time and our head girl at the time said, with eights, this is either gonna be the best or the worst five years of your life. It all depends on you. And she was right. I mean, so much has happened here. I met my best friends here. There were fights and mistakes were made, yes, but more importantly, lessons were learned. And I don't know what happens next, but I'm ready. It didn't matter what bad things people were saying about you. Calling your names like teacher's pet, church girl. You, you didn't care. You were so focused. How, how did you do it? Okay, look, Lydia. I'm going to tell you something that I don't tell lots of people. I was 10 when my dad left. And people said bad, nasty things to my mom. They said nasty things about, about my mom to me as well. And it crushed her. I saw it crush her and I also saw her get back up on her feet and fight to be name partner at one of the best accounting firms in the country. And yes, people said things to me, but what I'm trying to say is it doesn't matter what people say to you. What matters is that you know what you want, okay? I was so focused on being popular, trying to fit in, wanting a boyfriend, and it got me nowhere, Nangi. I failed my grade 12. I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, look, Lydia, no one's perfect, okay? Everyone makes mistakes. You don't make mistakes, Nangi. Oh, no, I make mistakes. I'm not perfect, but life gives you a second chance. And if this helps, I'm really glad that you come, came to me now and that you came to the Women Empowerment Group because I feel like I can really help you. You, you. you think you can help me? Yes, I will try my best to help. <laughs> thank oh. you, oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> That will be so much to me. Okay, okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Oh, 
I just want to dump it somewhere. <laughs> I don't know what to do about it. Yeah. I'm so confused. I... Hi. My name is Jack Solo Stevens. And I'm here. I, I don't even know why I'm here. You know, I just need to talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. I've, I've done stuff, guys. I've been places, man. I've had group sex, group masturbations, back, front, mouth, ear, everything. I just, I don't know, I don't know what to do. They, they're telling me circumcision will help me. Does it not? If I get circumcised, do I get, do, do I still get HIV? Why should I do it then? I don't know what to do, I'm just confused. You know what? I am so proud of both of you. And it's so strange that we have a young boy in, in our group because usually you don't get young guys speaking out. But you're here and you're speaking out. Sweetie, Jasmine, is it? You still have a bright future ahead of you. I understand you're 16 and you're pregnant, but there are services that can help you. Abortion and dumping the baby, it's ridiculous. I know you hear a lot of young girls doing that, but you don't have to do that because we're here to help you. And you won't face this alone. And you'll still be able to go to school and you'll still be able to have a bright future because there's services that can support you, okay? So we'll just put your name down and we can take you through some counseling and um, get you through some sort of um, support for you. Young man, Sunny, you've been doing a lot of things. The oral sex, the group sex, those activities. They are risky behaviors and you don't need to do all those things because that is jeopardizing your health and your future. Do you understand? I know you asked about male circumcision. It's very, very important that you go for male circumcision because that reduces your chances of transmission for HIV. You know what HIV is, right? Yeah, yes, I do. So my point is, stop doing all these sexual activities because your health is more important than that. Okay? So I'm just going to get your names down, and what's going to happen is you'll be taken through some more um, support group um, help, and then from there, I'm sure you'll be good to go. You understand, right? Yeah, I do. Yo, Marianne! Oh my... Uh, Excuse I'm, me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, you look like someone I know. Uh, Marianne? Um, you must be mistaken with someone else. Yeah, but you really look like her. I'm, I'm sorry. Wait, did you say Marianne? Yeah, Marianne. Oh, she she does join us in our support groups, but she's expecting a baby now, so she won't be with what? us for Whoa. a while. A baby? Yes. She's pregnant? Yes, he is. Wow. going through your application and one thing popped into my mind and I gotta ask you this question why do you want to be a doctor well dr. James please report to the surgical room I think the most important thing is to save lives but also I want to show people that you can achieve what you want to if you follow your dreams no matter what you've been through. 
Yeah, that's remarkable. Perfect answer. And you know, that's one of the reasons why I became a doctor. And I think it shows from your 54 points. And that's really amazing. Well done, James. As I think hard work really does pay off. It certainly does. And one day you could be seated on this side of the table. Welcome to the School of Medicine, Dr. James. Thank you very much, sir. David, David. Yeah? I met this other girl that day in the mall. And I was like, girl, you're fine. You gotta stop chasing girls, okay? Life is real. Teen pregnancy is real. HIV is real, okay? You gotta be a man now, man. Huh? Gotta man up. Let's play ball. We'll get a game on Saturday. Cool. Ball! Always so shady like Ray Bans. Uh, you tryna change, but it's hard. Shoot for the moon, so you fall on the stars. Stop the abuse, chill with the booze, love. Less fights, more hugs, love. Uh, please don't over drink to kill your problems. Getting drunk never ever really solves them. Don't kiss and tell. Wear a rubber if you wish me well. That liquor is killing your liver. Don't put your hand in your day. Yeah, yeah, better focus on your family. Yeah, yeah.